Hey guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the Hardcore series. The three goals today are to go on an adventure, build a trading hall, and possibly survive 100 days. And remember, this is hardcore, so if I die once, the world is deleted forever. In between episodes, I finished up a couple things on the interior, like my chest room. I also finished up my furnace room, and then I also redesigned my bedroom a bit. And I think this works out better. Okay, but as you guys know, this is the villager episode. So first up, we actually need to get some villagers. So I think I'm going to use the village that's way over there. And if we go out to the back of our house, this is where I've been mining cobblestone. And I just thought it'd be a good idea to expand this out, go a little deeper. And I think this is where I want to put my villager trading hall. And then the way I want to transport these villagers is through the nether. So to do that, we first need to grab our obsidian and a flint and steel. And for right now, I think I'm just going to put my portal like right here. And now all we have to do is light it up. And let's see where this thing takes us. Okay, so we're in a soul sand valley. That's all right, I can deal with that. Okay, but we are pretty close to a lava lake, which kind of sucks. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back to the village and put a portal there and see where that takes us. And wow, what a beautiful sunset. And there's the village. And I think instead of walking there, let's just kind of like... Okay, yeah, that was way quicker. Okay, I think we're just gonna use this villager's house as the portal room after you betrayed me last episode. But yeah, let's go ahead and see where this puts us. Okay, and I think, if this is where I'm thinking it is, this might be perfect. Okay, so there's our other portal, so not a terrible spawn. We might be able to move it though. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna break this portal. And we're gonna try to move this portal down here to the same level as our other portal. So now I'm gonna link up the two portals together on the same low. So if you don't know how to do this, you just take the overworld coordinates and divide them by eight. And that's the coordinate. Boring! Oh, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Okay, hopefully this brings me back to my village. Oh, beautiful, okay. So I think this will work. Let me just test this a couple times. Okay, yeah, that's gonna save me a ton of work. So now let's go ahead and dig through this mountain to connect through to the other portal. Okay, so here's our portal to our base. And as you can see, we now have a nice and easy tunnel all the way down to our village okay and i'll make this like look all pretty probably in a different episode but today i just want to focus on getting our villager trading hall completed oh what's up dude you seem pretty friendly oh he is not friendly uh oh this is not good yeah and he dropped an inner pearl let's go i think next up i think it'll be smart to go ahead and dig all this out before i get villagers in because once i get villagers in here I think that'll just make it a lot more difficult. Okay, and to do this, I want to have a better pickaxe than just, you know, nothing on my diamond pickaxe. So we're going to have to make an enchantment table. There's that. And then we need 15 bookshelves in order to get full 30 level enchants. Perfect. That was literally the perfect amount. Okay, so now that we have all this set up, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new pickaxe. And let's see what we can get on this. Okay, that's looking more like it. That is like the ideal pickaxe. And honestly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put mending on this pickaxe. Comment down in the comments what I should name this pickaxe. Okay, but now I think it's finally time to get started on digging out this whole area. Oh, we have a nice little friend now. What's up, buddy? Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not my friend. Die.
Okay, so yeah, I think this is a really good start. I think I'm trying to get this like kind of eventually kind of a dome effect around here. But yeah, I think this will be plenty of space for the amount of villagers that I want to get. Okay, so now I need to kind of find the layout that I want for the villagers. And this is just going to be a lot of like trial and error. So I'm just going to do a quick jump cut to when we have kind of the plan figured out. All right, and we are back. So as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. I cleaned up the ceiling, and then I also added in all the spots for the villagers. So as you can see, I got all my different librarians, and I got my armor smith, weapon smith, tool smith, and these three villagers will give me full diamond tools and armor. And then I just have a nice assortment of everything else, you know, Fletchers and farmers to get some emeralds. And then over here, we have the system to where we can get one emerald trades by flicking this lever it'll activate this piston and move it up and move it down and basically a zombie will be right here and while it's flicked up and there's a block on top of this the zombie can't get to the villager but once you flick it down the zombie can get to the villager and then you can use your splash potion of weakness and a golden apple in order to cure it and then after you cure it the villager will give you discounts now the only thing wrong with this is i need sticky pistons in order to have a block because if i don't well the piston doesn't move the block at all and i also want some moss in order to decorate this area and some deep slate which I don't have either and I also want some scaffolding in order to reach the roof so basically we need to go on a big adventure to get all of these items all right and I think I'm just gonna keep going this way because this way has seemed to work out pretty well oh watch this watch this zoom in oh we're really zooming now this is so cool how come I haven't done this before Oh, it's an igloo. Hold up. I don't think I've ever explored one of these before. So let's see if it's a secret one. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so this actually is perfect for what I was literally just explaining. So in here, I have a golden apple. And in here, I have a potion of weakness. So if I splash this guy with a potion of weakness and then give him a golden apple, he'll cure into a regular villager. Um, I'm not gonna do that though because I actually want to keep these for my own villagers But yeah, that's really cool that we found that and honestly his red bed is a lot cooler than my white bed So we're just gonna steal that, you know, he'll never figure out. Oh look, it's a sunken boat I don't know if I found one of these in this world yet And yes, there's a buried treasure. I say we go get some buried treasure. How are you guys? Oh my goodness, is that a azalea tree? Yes, there's so many of them. Okay, so if you didn't know, this is actually what tells you if there's a lush cave below. And all I need to do is just dig under this. But first, let me just go ahead and grab this very treasure. Oh, here it is, let's go. Okay, let's see what's in uh, it. TNT, gold, iron, and the heart of the sea. This is really good. I don't know if I have one of these or not. Okay, now let's go back to that uh, tree we found. Okay, and I've also never explored a lush cave in 1.18, so this will be pretty exciting for me. So, if I just go ahead and dig down. Oh my goodness, we finally found the end. That took, like, forever. But we finally are in the lush cave. Oh, nice. Okay, that helps. Alright, let's go ahead and go down here. Alright, so we're just gonna get a ton of these. Oh, <gasps> and it's an axolotl! Oh, <gasps> I've never had one of these before. Okay, I actually think I want a pink one instead. So comment down what we should name this guy. Okay, and now it's time to get a bunch of moss blocks. Yeah, we're just gonna get all of this. But yeah, this area is so cool. Like, lush caves are probably my favorite biome. Oh my goodness! Oh, and there's diamonds! Okay, hold up. You need taken care of. What? No way, and then there's more over there? Ooh, how do I get those? Oh, just like that. Okay, cool. So, I, yeah, I also want some of these. Oh my goodness, there's more Diamond! diamonds. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think about this. But while I'm here, I can go ahead and get some deep slate. Man, I could really use a shulker box. Maybe in the next episode, we'll get one of those. Okay, I think it's time to get out of here. But I'm actually gonna, gonna kind of miss this place. What the heck? 
but yeah, like I was saying, like, there's not really a lush cave close to my house, so that kind of stinks. Okay, we made it up to the top. Okay, but we still need to get slime and bamboo. So let's go ahead and keep looking for a jungle. Man, I could also really use an Elytra. I think we definitely might go fight the inner dragon next episode. Go ahead and like the video if that's something you want to see. <gasps> no way. Oh, let's go. It's a jungle. That's so nice. <gasps> and a swamp. No way. Okay. So let's go ahead and loot this jungle, get what we need from that, and then hopefully by then it'll be night, and then hopefully some slimes will spawn up at the swamp. Okay, first of all, we need bamboo, most importantly, and I also want some watermelon, and then probably just one jungle sapling. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to that swamp. Wait, is that a slime? Oh, yes, it's a slime. Yes, this is the last thing we needed to find. And there we go, slime blocks. Or balls, I meant. Okay, so I'm gonna get as much slime balls as I can. Because I'm not coming up here for a while. I literally have not seen a single other slime. Okay, so it's turning day, and I literally only found one slime. So, actually, I, I, I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait like 20 minutes until it turns night so i guess i'll just be back okay we are back and it is finally night time so hopefully some more slime spawn because i really don't want to wait that long again oh <gasps> yes there's a slime okay sweet okay there's five more slime balls i think i'd be happy with about like 10 or 15 more okay it's daytime again and i really don't feel like waiting 20 more minutes for it to be night so we're just gonna head home and i know you guys don't really want to see me walk all the way home so i'll just cut back to you guys when i get there okay we're finally home from that long adventure and as you can see that was very successful i got everything that i wanted and more okay so the last material i need is just a bunch of wood so let me just make a new axe real quick so that we can enchant it and hopefully we get efficiency perfect that is beautiful all right, let's get to chopping. All right, so we chopped down the trees, and I think this is enough wood for now. Okay, so here's all the materials we should be needing for the build. So I guess let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have all of the pods done. All we just need to do is get, obviously, villagers and zombies. Um, and then now it's just kind of time to kind of beautify the whole place. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope.
Okay, so this is pretty much most of the build done. Now all I have left to do is the walkways around and the center portion. And I think what I want to do is build some wooden walkways just here. Pretty simple stuff. And then in the middle, what I want to do is do a pond. And I can even put my new axolotl I put in there. And I think, I think it'll look pretty cool. Alright, so let's get started with the build. Okay, yeah, I really like that. And I also used these flowering azalea bushes on the floor to kind of add some more detail with the flowers. I really like how that looks. And then the final step is just to add water. All right, so if we just ignore this part over here, I'll soon combine it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But if we just look over here, I think this looks awesome. This has gotta be one of my favorite builds I've ever made the next day all right so it's the next day working on this project and i just remembered about copper so i just want to see how that would look up here honestly i think i'm going to keep that and especially once it oxidizes it will kind of match the theme a little bit more but i i do like the touch of color here okay but now it's time to connect this area with the rest of the build so let's go ahead and get doing that i think a cool touch for this area would be these amethyst blocks around the enchantment table yeah, I like that. Okay, there is the build done. So we have the enchantment area over here, and then if we walk down here, we have the villager trading hall. And then over here, I just kind of cut this section off and added some chests for storage. And yeah, I'm really happy how this came together. Now, all we have to do is do the fun and exciting task of transporting all of the villagers into here. Okay, so the, before we get the villagers in, I want to try to get all of the zombies in. So let's just try to make a dark area so we can get some mobs spawning. Okay, now we definitely should start seeing zombies spawn. Oh, perfect, right here. Let's see if he'll take the sword. Perfect, now this means he won't despawn. All right, will we be able to fit down here? He's good, he's trapped. Awesome, he's stuck there forever. Now we just need to do that to the other two sides. Awesome, that's really easy. And go ahead and put the helmet on. Perfect, this is going really well. All right, just follow me over here, buddy. Yep. Sweet. Okay, now it's your turn. That was really easy. We have all three zombies in place now. Okay, and this actually reminds me, we need a spot to brew potions. So let's just go ahead and steal this brewing stand and get some glass, some gunpowder, spider eyes, all of our mushrooms. And let's go ahead and craft some sugar. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and grab all of our golden apples. I'm just gonna try to make as much as I can. Okay, I think 24 will get me at a really good start. And then let's just craft up a bunch of fermented spider eyes and a bunch of glass bottles. And let's go ahead and get started on brewing up some... Oh no, <gasps> I need blaze powder. Dang it, I'm gonna have to go back into the nether. Okay, before I go to the nether, I wanna try and get a good bow. Awesome, I'll go ahead and take that for now. Okay, I think we're just ready to just hop onto the nether. Okay, so now the plan is just to find a fortress and kill some blaze rods, so let's go ahead and do that. Hey Siri, enable aimbot. Oh, nice. Oh, yes! There we go! We found a fortress, that's so good. Alright, and we're in the fortress. 
Oh, perfect. I knew it. Okay, we already have three blaze rods. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of blazers. Honestly, if you just attack them quick, they're not too much of a problem. Okay, yeah, 11 is definitely enough, and I'm about to die, so we're gonna leave. Ah, exactly what we were looking for. Okay, I think we got everything I wanted to get, so I'm just gonna head back home. Okay, that was very successful. And now we can finally start brewing up our potions. And then this gunpowder is to make it a splash potion so that we can throw it onto the zombie villager. And there we have it, three down. Okay, and if you also remember, I forgot one thing in here, and that's our axolotl. And remember to tell me what I should name this guy. Okay, so now, the only thing we have to do to finish this off is to get all of the villagers. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this part of the project was not the most fun. Just trying to get the villagers almost took as long as the actual build itself. But anyways, I first tried to make a temporary villager breeder in the village we found. And this villager breeder never really worked. I always had to keep fixing it and there was always something wrong with it. But then I just built a system to transport the villagers through the nether. And then in the process, I accidentally let some of them loose. So this was really frustrating. But finally, I went through three variations to hold the villagers in my base before I could actually move them into their workstations. But yeah, this was definitely the most tedious part of this whole project and hopefully we don't have to work with villagers again for a while if you go ahead and look the sun is rising on 100 days we made it i've never survived 100 days in hardcore minecraft so this is a big milestone for me and this is in good timing too because we have basically finished the trading hall literally all that we're waiting on now is this baby villager to grow up and then we can put him in his job position we even have two extra villagers in case we ever need to start a villager breeder. But yeah, I feel like we need to make a monument for 100 days. So I think all we're going to do is craft up a diamond block. And let's just go ahead and put this inside of my room. And there we go, 100 days. And we also need to do the subscriber shout out for today. So in this episode, the subscriber shout out is going to Ninji. Thank you Ninji for all the support. If you want to be in the next subscriber shout out, comment down your favorite color. But now as you can see, the villager has grown up, so it's time to put him in his spot. Okay, in the final workstation we have to place. And there we have it, we have the whole entire trading hall completed. We have our own brewing station, we have basically every single villager you can get. In the next episode, we're gonna upgrade these guys to where they'll trade me diamond armor and tools. And then I have Infinity, Feather Falling, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, and Mending Librarians. And we can't forget about our pet Axolotl. And overall, I'm just really happy with the way this has turned out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a ton of work as it took me over 50 days to complete. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day. In between episodes, I finished up my smelting area. <laughs>